Hello, I'm Green. And I'm Purple. Welcome back to Green Purple. We're back playing Silent Hill 2 today. And I remember I forgot something, so we're gonna go get it. It's, uh... If I remember the... Yeah, we Ooh. gotta go back out the front real quick. How you doing, Caleb? I'm Good. recovering. <laughs> Caleb's in recovery right now. You guys won't... The episode's not up yet, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, it won't be. But just know that, um... There's something good coming up in a few days, and you guys are gonna. Yeah, I would. It'll, go, it'll, it'll be going up Friday. Uh, yeah. No. Yes. Yes. It'll be going up Friday, so just you know, get ready for that. But that thing that happened on Friday, I'm recovering from it. I had to get the Little Mermaid music box. Oh. It's right here on this fountain. Uh, First time I played the game, that was the thing I was missing. I was like, this game's stupid! Uh, 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 uh. But Caleb's doing better now that he doesn't have to doesn't have to play no more spooky games. <laughs> like, it was my suggestion, just because yeah. I was like... Well, because we knew we were going to need stuff after Cuphead. Yeah. Because we could only get two... Like, the finale of Cuphead's gonna go up tomorrow. Spoilers, but not really. Uh, okay, so what we have to do is... We have to put everything in there. Yeah. I think so, yeah. But, um, yeah, I, I, I did it because it was, in my mind I was just like, people... If it's one thing that people love, it's seeing someone get scared. <laughs> it's the best. Maybe we have to walk in first and then it'll let us do it. Alright, there you go. And we have to put everything up, even our flashlight. This is a hoarder's worst dream. <laughs> no, not my stuff! <laughs> worst dream, worst nightmare. Worst nightmare. There we go. That's better. Oh, I thought the little cursor was an item. I was like, why can't I get to it? <laughs> well, back to the way we started. This is a really sensitive elevator, by the way. One person. Just... I don't like elevators either. Yeah? No. Well, I mean, I guess it kind of fits into the claustrophobia of it all. You don't have a map. Or is it just dark? There, maybe oh, that's oh, there the we go. Yeah, there you go. For employees. For employees only. All right, because this is where. You know, I was wondered, um, because you know, when it comes to phobias, people have like different degrees of it. Right. Some people like it's pretty chronic. And other people like it could seriously affect their lives. Right. Um. I got a can open. Good job. <laughs> Good job, my boy. <laughs> Not all, my boy. Yeah, like, like I don't like spiders, but I don't think it affects my life on mm -hmm. a daily basis. But like, some people are afraid of pickles or something, and that also probably wouldn't affect your life on a daily. <laughs> but it could. I mean, if you if you don't eat, if you don't eat burgers, there you go. There you go. So, what were you gonna say about phobias, Caleb? Oh, just like. Like how severe I think my claustrophobia is because I know that my uh, my mother had it. So oh, yeah, um, I don't, and I don't think phobias are like genetically or any, genetically. I don't. I wouldn't think so. No. But I mean, if you grew up with someone who's afraid of something, you're probably more likely to be afraid of it. So uh, I think she had it worse than I did. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just. That's probably, I think, and I always feel like that's the number one reason why most horror games get me is because you're always playing such a confined space. Yeah, I mean, I think, because I feel like almost everyone to some degree mm -hmm. 
has claustrophobia. You know what I mean? Like, no one's just like, man, I love enclosed spaces. <laughs> it's just some people have it to much higher degrees. Like, uh, my grandma has claustrophobia pretty bad. I would say probably on par, more on par with, like, your mo- mom more than you. Like, she just cannot do small spaces. And, like... I don't like small spaces either. Like, thinking about, like, crawling through with, like, a, an uh-huh. air duct or something, like, terrifies me. But I don't... Like, if I'm in a kind of... Just, like, a fairly small room, I usually am fine. I don't want the pumpkins in... Thank you. There's pumpkins and apples. You sure you don't want a pumpkin or an apple? <laughs> Like, uh, me and my family and uh, Lavender went to Colorado last year or the year before. Yeah, it was one of those. And uh, we went down in a mine shaft. And, like, the elevator to get down into it, literally, like, you could reach out and touch all four walls at once. And you were all just, like, kind of packed in like a can of sardines. And I was, as we were going down, I think I even said, I was like, this is not for Caleb. No. I was like, Caleb would not be happy here. (laughs) This this is not a good time for Caleb. Because I know I stay like, um, I'm introverted and I don't like people. Right. But, uh, I don't know, it's weird. I guess it's just, I don't know if that's part of my claustrophobia, but it's also just, I don't like being close to a lot of people. Like, in a situation like that. Right. Like if I if I were if I were to see an elevator and there was like a lot of people inside of it, I would pass on it and just wait. Right. Because I just do not like being scrunched up by a lot of people. It makes right. me very uncomfortable. It's also why I probably don't like uh, parties, like large parties. Right. I always prefer just the less the less amount of people, the better. Right. Like, I think everyone has their limits to their claustrophobia. Like, some people are, you know, only have it very minorly, so they can be, you know, those ones that go spelunking or whatever, like, crawling through caves and everything without any problem. Oh, hey. Dude. (laughs) Stop it. Let me buy. (laughs) Whap. But You're being a butt. You have two butts. Yeah, you're just a double butt. Just a butt thing. (laughs) Uh, you know, so those people, very few things actually make them claustrophobic. But then you also have other people where it's just like being in a room at, of this size with the door closed, which obviously can't see the room we're in, but it's a per- fairly average size room. And some people, like, just being in an area of this size would be enough for them to be like, no. Can you, can you move? Ow. Oh, no. <laughs> There you go. I was about to be like, if this door is not open, <laughs> we are not going to have a good time here. There's, oh, there's a lot of medical drinks. Well, I think they <laughs> realized that. This can with the label on But we well, have a can opener. Well, I got a can opener. How about that? A tool for opening cans. Really? I couldn't figure that out. <laughs> Light bulbs. Why would you put light bulbs in this can? How did you... I got a light bulb. How did you seal the can with a light bulb? (laughs) Why would you... And how did you... And why? I have several questions. Venus tears. Ooh. Ooh. Austin got me some wine. I'm going to try it when I get home. You gonna drink some wine? That's what I say. That's not a song. At least not one anyone would buy. <laughs> Wait, read, do that again. Can you read the jukebox thing again? What? It doesn't play, so it must be broken. <laughs> Good job, James. James. <laughs> James is using his smart thinking skills. <laughs> Pick it up. 
I do not want to. Get it. Maybe he can't get it. Maybe I'm not supposed to get it. Maybe for whatever reason he needed that lit up so he could <laughs> oh use the key. Okay. Uh, but that reminds me of because uh, you said uh, with the mines and the uh, underground. Mm -hmm. Actually, of uh, you remember the descent? Oh, that movie's creepy. Yeah, that one. That one get you? Oh yeah, it really got me. Especially that one part where uh, that girl gets like she's like that, wedged. Yeah, she gets wedged, and I'm just like, no, nope, no. Nope, yeah, I, I'll agree. Like that part got me all claustrophobic too, just because it's just like thinking about. No. <laughs> yeah, the other That's one. That's I saw that. This was a waste of time. Okay, I think the, that elevator is just being wonky. Twonky. Let's, let's get back in it. Twonky. Twinkie! I don't like Twinkies. Not a Twinkie man? No, I know. Hate me. Hate me, everyone. I mean, I don't love Twinkies. I think they're decent, though. I'm pretty picky when it comes to sweets. Yeah? Get the land. I want that. I guess I can't have it. It's like whenever you watch, you're in a horror situation, and there's like an axe or something. It's like, oh yeah, pick that up, and then they're like, no. It's like, well, nah, I don't need that. That's fine, I guess. <laughs> I don't fine. need don't, it. Fine, don't get it. That's good. Okay. Now where can I? Well, I'm gonna go get my stuff. I'm gonna go get my stuff back. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Oh, I got the videotape. That's right. I can go watch the videotape. And then they made a descent too, and that sucked. Oh, was it not good? I don't think so. I, didn't, just, I mean, I didn't see it. That's so. just my opinion, though. I have to say that so people have to remember that everyone has an opinion. I mean, it's really rare for any uh, uh, horror movie sequel to be good. Like, it has to... There's a reason why whenever a horror movie sequel is good, everyone's like, what? It's good! What? <laughs> wow! Oh, oh. Because most of them are not good. Let's get my stuff back. Yeah, I like that. They don't make you go back <laughs> through. And I was like, I take that, I take that, I take that. Let's put that... There we go. Let's go watch that video. Was he looking at something? It looked like he was looking at something. Rifle shells. Sweet. Like I said, I'm probably just going to save the rifle until the very end. Even though I have probably more than enough ammo to just use it. But whatever. <coughs> but yeah, I think it's just because like... I don't know, even whenever you have a whole new story and everything. Wait, was there a box or something? Lost. Oh, yeah. Is there something I can... X marks the spot. <laughs> Good job, Caleb. You've done it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's where the treasure be. Oh, good up. Whenever we come back, I'm going to figure out what I need to do next. Bye, everybody. See ya. Thank you.